What's up everyone, Dapblade here with a patch information video for Monster Hunter World. This is regarding patch 3.02 for PlayStation 4 and 3.0.0.2 for Xbox One. Now this patch addresses the Kulturov quest line as well as certain statistics and changes to the Wyvern Ignition Greatsword. Now this patch is available now and it's not the biggest, it only took me a couple of minutes to download. But anyway, let's get into the details of what has changed with this patch. First, the Kulturov questline. They fixed a bug where the Kulturov Siege questline would not progress correctly under certain circumstances. Specifically, they noted that if you speak to the Admiral out in the field when participating in another player's instance of the A Wound and A First or similar quest after having collected the Kulturov traces but before having spoken to him separately in Instera, then this error could occur. So basically, if you had picked up the Kulturov traces in order to activate the siege quest and then took part in one of these other missions that involved the Admiral before actually speaking to the Admiral back in Astera after having collected the traces, this bug would occur. Anyway, players who have already encountered this bug can return to Astera and speak to the Admiral and this will trigger the council scene, which is the cutscene related to the Kulturov siege and the mission will become available as normal. I personally didn't know this bug existed, but having addressed it now, it means that players can at least participate in the Kulturov quest line before it goes away for a certain period. Anyway, the next change comes to the Wyvern Ignition Greatsword. Basically, they fixed a bug where the Greatsword saw the Fire Element stat attack value unintentionally reduced to 240. The value has now been reset back up to 510. Now remember that this element is locked, so you need to utilize the free element armor skill in order to activate it. Now this could make the Wyvern Ignition a viable fire element weapon, but whether it trumps the elementless build that a lot of people are using with this weapon, I'm not too sure. Anyway, and the final change comes to the first Wyvarian statistics. Now when you're on expedition, exploring the map, you will come across these first Wyvarians. And sometimes they give you stats, normally on what is the most popular weapon, where most players have died, so on and so forth. Basically these stats will be reset starting on April 26. And for the duration of this period, they will be collecting new data. As such, these first Wyvarians will not give out any statistical information anymore, but this should not affect gameplay whatsoever. Up until then, the statistical data that these first Wyvarians will be given will not be the most accurate. But anyway, that is about it for patch 3.02. As I said, it is a small one, addressing only a few minor issues. There may be some more hidden elements that were implemented into the game with this patch. For example, they could have added stuff to do with the Devil May Cry event quest that is coming up soon, as well as the second part of the Street Fighter event quest that's coming up at the start of May. But I'll have more information on those events closer to the time. But anyway, I hope you found this information helpful, and until next time, I'll be Darkblade, bringing you a patch information video for Monster Hunter World. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.